very frustrating when, when you're a teacher who's in teaching because you love kids and you're not seeing progress like you'd like to see. It's, it's very frustrating and, it, and it's, de it's upsetting and it's, you, know, you go home at the end of the day and wonder why you're up here and if you're going to make a difference or not. Some things I just feel like I can't change as much as I want to and I want to believe I can change. I'm not going to change and so I, I think I've just accepted that my role up here is to do what I can for the students during the time that they're with me and at the end of the day if I've done my best that's all that I can do. The young people are definitely losing their culture because of um, education. Uh, they're, they want to live more like the white people. They want to use the power of the pen, you know, the writing and, and reading um, English and, and only relying on that. They're forgetting about their history. I did grade three of my best. Grade one, I did very good. I got a sled because I, I did good on report card. Grade two, I won a watch. Grade three, I won uh, going back where the French people are from, but I didn't went there. Eh? But grade four, I went to school and teacher hit me on the belly. I ran away from school. I never went back to school. And I started to understand that um, colonialism isn't something that's that's a long time ago. It's something that's at work right now. You may not think about it, but everyone knows what this uniform stands for. We represent Canada, and we're very, very, very proud of it. I mean, the ones that that come to school and work at it and and believe in in, in education, they're very successful. The ones that don't buy in and don't get this process, they're often become part of the community problems. too many times. I got scars all over my uh, my head. I got broke, both broken arms. I got almost killed. Huh? I don't blame my people for that. Huh? Just like I said, the way life being a post. Huh? It's got nothing to do with God, Jesus, evil, or anything. It's just the way we're affected from the outside moving without disrespect or people unknown. Huh? And, you know, this is how life been twisted. Huh? Not only after losing my mom, I started losing friends, cousins, because suicide became so huge. So I tried to commit suicide as well. And um, when I tried to commit suicide that night, I was so in so much pain and so the ambulance showed up and then the ambulance said the first thing that the ambulance said to me was what's wrong with you we have enough of this going on when I heard that it made me feel like how dare you how dare you say that to me when right now I just need someone to hold me and it made me feel like you just make me want to die even more 
I've heard some people say that some of the a lot of the students who have taken their lives are students who who had no more hope, who were beacons of light in the community, who were super students and had great talents, but they just felt that there was no hope in Lalash. There is hope for kids, always. You cannot ever say there's no hope for you, never. There is always hope. If I was to be told, if there was no hope, I wouldn't have had hope. I wouldn't be sitting here today. Yeah. Check. Growing up as a little kid at a young age, yeah, on 13, I had a big dream as doctor, a lawyer, so go to school. But one day on my way, I met up with the thug and said, what's up? Asked me if I do one drugs. And I said, no, that's cool, bro. You want a job? Sell some drugs. Rapping just, I don't know, it just, it just helps me become like, better person when I'm rapping. It's all about Lalash, how we're losing a lot Everywhere I look in this neighborhood People up to no good People always drinking, not even thinking About the family, so they left with misery Make a few bucks, and my family was Going through a struggle, so I had to hustle Mom found out, she cursed and shout She wasn't proud, her young son Hanging out with the wrong crowd Gang affiliated, good life wasted My whole future down the drain What I lost and what I gained Bringing shame to my family's name while I got I let it go, so check the flow, so I just say, hey, yo. And I seen all these kids that keep coming back, and on the outside, it's like, they're different people while they're at my shows. I know I can do something for this town, eh? Keep them out of trouble. Look at your people and tell me Maybe I can do something for the youth, so... I've applied to SIAST for the youth care worker. Lalash is where I grew up. It's my home. It's Lalash is who made me. Lalash is who made me of who I am today. I, everyone in Lalash is my family member. All my um, sorry, all my family are in Lalash. It's not like I can take them all with me in a suitcase and take them to a Saskatoon and say, okay, stay with me there. I can't do that because Malash is my home. I will come back. She says it's like living in two different worlds and she feels lonely for the old life, the old world. Go for the law. I want to lash. I'm going to call a trap. Or can I get another phone call for Janet Control? In terms of, of fixing the wash, we, we do uh, our best for sure. I, I'm proud of the work that all of our members do here and I think we turn out a good product with the, uh, with the workload that we have and, and the number of members that we have to do it. I can't imagine the wash not having the RCMP in it, working with the community and to, I wouldn't want to see that day. If our own people would be in those positions like the RCMP nurse and we, we would have more control over our own issues and people would feel good, would, would be um, very proud of who they are as Denny people. So now we have these outsiders um, supposedly trying to fix our problems and she's saying that that makes people feel less, like that we're not capable of fixing our own problems. Take away the land, you, you take away the traditional livelihood, you feed them booze, you introduce the smallpox uh, virus on purpose in your trade wars and when you want to get into settlement. We won't call it genocide because we're white guys and white guys don't do that. That's just other evil people in the world. See, from the outside, you guys are standing here, right, with the camera. And 
most people coming in from the outside, right? Maybe city, maybe some reservation, some place, and we're affecting each other. She always had that feeling that they need to leave and that if they did leave, that uh, life would improve.